Hi there, Sandy Almack, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube with day five of the 24 tags of Christmas 2017. There's six in the series, so we are getting near the end. And I'm going to use the concertina die from Ellen Hudson. Now you can actually cut out all these intermediate pieces, all those sentiments, and I decided not to. So I've cut one out of each of four different papers. And so I first did all of that out of as heavy of cardstock as I could because I didn't want these to be all lightweight and flimsy. And then I took some score tape and I put it onto some cardstock that I was going to then cut to, to cover the back panel of each one of these. Score tape has two sides to it, so it like makes it a double sticky thing. And so I'm basically making a piece of cardstock that has sticky on one side. You could alternatively, instead of doing that, you could cut out the shapes of these tags to cover up the inside portions and then just add a whole bunch of adhesive to it. So just take your tape runner and run it over it because you want the part that shows through the holes to be sticky. But what I'm, the way I'm doing it is probably a little bit backwards. I seem to be doing everything backwards during this tag series, but <laughs> there you go. So I have my pieces that are covering the back and then the insides are all sticky. The part facing front is sticky. And I've got my little quick stick because I need to pick up all these teeny tiny pieces to put them back in. And I'm gonna mix the colors from all four of the different pieces. Here's the, the learning that I had. I dumped all of the pieces into a big pile. That was not the smartest thing to do. I'm just gonna tell you that now. It's a giant pile of tangled mess. So I'm sitting here off camera searching for the letters, thinking I'm going to find them. I'm not doing a very good job of finding them because yeah, they're a big pile and there's all different kinds of letters and sizes. Yeah, there's the pile. I pushed it in because I thought you would want to see the disaster that I have made of it. Because <laughs> you have to find the insides of the letters in the color of the tag itself in order to fill those parts in and it gets just a little bit ridiculous, right? So I do have a tip for you a little bit later in this video that you're gonna see a better solution that your children can help you with. Because I happen to know that there are some little people with little fingers who in their, their youth, I know that they loved sorting things and they loved putting things together in piles. And so what I did was do my my little sorting as if I were a little five-year-old with little fingers. I put all the stars in a pile and I put all the O's in a pile and I put all the Y's in a pile so that then when I went to add the other three and get the, the other three tags assembled, it went quick as a bunny because I could find everything real quickly. So there's a tip from me. Just make sure you actually get them all sorted out because then you're going to be able to place them back in a lot quicker. This little quick stick thing is also a godsend because the little thing on the end, that little green nibby thing sticks to the paper, but not enough that it's not, it's not going to fight against the adhesive that you have inside each one of those letters. But it also has the little pointy thing on the back end. And I end up kind of pushing things around with both ends of that from time to time. So it really helps. And there's also a lot of other things you can do with this particular die set. You can use each one of those sentiments separately because like I said, they do punch out of the die. So you don't have to actually leave them inside this die. You can go crazy with them if you would like and um, use them on your cards in different ways. And if you look on YouTube for concertina dies, I bet you you're going to find other people doing really cool things with them as well. And you can use the tags then as empty tags and decorate them in any way you wish, especially if you have a stamp set that has three images that you want to use together. You could use them on the three dies because you have a score in between each one of those three tags. You can also just cut them along that score line and then you will have three tags. So if you're looking for a really great tag die, just so you can make a lot of tags, you can get three tags out of them and they each have different bottoms kind of on them. So you can kind of have different shapes, etc. And so when these are all done, you can fold them this way. I'm not going to send them folded this way, 
with the, the string tied through all three of them, but you can make a little ornament out of that. Isn't that cute? That they would hang up that way. And I think they came out adorable, even if they took me longer than they should have because I did it backwards at the beginning. But at least I learned from my mistake. And now you don't have to make that mistake either. So I am going to give you here a sneak peek of the altered tote that I've got over on the other channel, over on my Bible journaling channel, if you want to go see that. And that's about it for today. We have one more in the tag series. So be sure to leave comments on this video as well as on the blog in order to have a chance to win one of these tags. And I will see you tomorrow for the final video. Thank you so much. I'll see you then.